Hello, my name is David with Winning Solutions. We hope this video will be all the help you need. Are you trying to create an access database, but find that it is too much work, or you could be doing something more productive with your time? WSI can do all the hard work for you. Just contact us via the information below this video. We will work with you to determine how much time and money will be needed to build your new database. If you'd prefer to have your database built with .NET, Microsoft SQL Server, so you can run it on your Windows desktop or anywhere in a web browser, we could do that too. So we're going to show you a technique that you can use in Access application to make filtering and finding data much easier. So I've set up a quick sample database here uh, where we have a table of states, obviously not every state, a uh, selection of counties within those states and a selection of towns within those counties. So we have a hierarchical system which you could have in a lot of different cases. I mean, you could have, for example, departments, and within each department has a list of employees, or you know, above the departments list, you can have a locations list, or, or anything, anything where you have a hierarchical nature, two or more levels. And this is relational data. We made some videos on relational databases before, so you can go back and, and take a look at those. Um, but so we have this top down, this hierarchy, we go, you can go to any state and within a county, see the towns within that county. Okay. So just again, they're, they're separate tables, but we have this set up so you can have this cascading effect. And speaking of cascading, what I'm going to demonstrate now here is cascading combo boxes. Because, I mean, let's suppose this was an application where you had all the towns in the United States, or yeah, maybe not all, but let's say even if, you're, even if it's, you know, all towns with a population of 100,000 or more, that's still going to be an enormous list. And besides the fact that access limits the size of these drop-down boxes, you really don't want to have them all displayed. And so you see, by default, on this form, we have the list of states. But the list of counties and the list of towns are blank. So, you know, we could have chosen to just list all counties, everything in the county table, everything in the town table. Uh, and it might have worked okay here just because I only have, well, we only have 40 or so towns in here. Uh, but, of course, that can get very unwieldy if you, if you have a, a large amount of data. So you want to be able to filter these. And so because we have a relationship among these tables, and again, if you go back to the, our video on relational data, you can see how that works. But basically, you have a state ID, and you have a county ID that refers back to that state ID, so, that, so, that, so you can identify the count, which state the county is in. Same thing for the town. You can identify a county ID that... It, that that the town refers to, refers back to the county's table, then the county's table is a state ID which refers back to the state's table. So that's that's how this cascading relationship goes. I'm going to say no. Okay, and so when we select a state, now it becomes populated. Towns still aren't. You have to select a town, a county, Fresno County within California. If we have, you know, Humboldt, right, then we have a different set of towns. Um, and you can switch a, uh, switch a state and get a different list of counties and so on. So this is something you can really use in your databases, uh, a technique that we really recommend to help filter it makes the data much more organized and saves having, you know, you might have a, a form where you have to s select a town, but you really want to select from a list of a thousand towns in one drop, access won't even let you go beyond a certain limit. So uh, this keeps everything much more clean, much more organized. And as I keep saying, data integrity and in access is everything. So I hope this helps. Hope this illustrates some of the uses of cascading combo boxes uh, and some ways we can help organize your data and filter it a little bit better to keep the data search from getting too messy.
Thank you for watching. We hope this video was all the help you needed for your Access database. If you are struggling to create an Access database that does what you need it to do and just want someone to make that happen for you, that is the business we are in. Our contact information is below the video. You can reach out to us and we will work with you to determine how long it will take and how much it will cost to get your database up and going. If the time and cost are acceptable to you, WSI will get to work and make your database vision a reality. Perhaps Microsoft.net or MS SQL Server would be the better choices for your new database, so it can run on your Windows desktop or anywhere in a web browser. WSI will help you make this determination if you like. Again, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and have a great day.